Andreas was happening. Unlike last episode, we're gonna go to Tan Tip Plaza because Mike gave us a little tip saying that there's a lot of foreigners right there. We're gonna go walk about 10 minutes from here. It's a beautiful day. Why, oh why Chiang Mai? That's the question. So there's a lot of experts here in the north of Thailand in Chiang Mai right now. We're gonna ask them like, are they stuck? Are they having a good time? What are you doing here? Like, do you wanna go home? Last time we met quite a few foreigners and uh, most of them are actually having a good time still and appreciating Chiang Mai, uh, but uh, some of them that would like to go back. Like in Australia, you cannot just go back uh, whenever you want. What I'm hoping to find is, uh, we've only been talking to guys and I, I really hope we can find some female expats or some female foreigners that are living here in Chiang Mai right now. I hope to find them today. And it's actually Saturday, 11th of August. So I'm quite confident because it's Saturday that we're gonna find a lot more younger expats because they were working from Monday to Friday and most of the expats are off on Saturday and Sunday. So hopefully we'll uh, find some younger crowd as well. But then again, like it doesn't matter, like old, young, uh, man, female, we're gonna talk to everyone. Let me take this 10 minute walk. Let me take this moment to uh, thanks, thank everyone that subscribed already. I know this is a really young, small channel, but uh, yeah, I really appreciate you being here. I'm feeling a little bit like we are creating a bit of a family. There's people coming back like T-Man, Leroy, Hans, Pat Kapow. We've got, like, we've got all these, these people in the house. Uh, commenting pretty much every video so that's quite uh, that's quite a that was quite a surprise I only started about six months ago and uh, I've got already a feeling we've got a uh, we're creating we're slowly creating a group of people that are uh, having the same interest and that's basically traveling and uh, or Thailand at, uh, at the moment anyway traveling backpacking that's what this channel is about but if you've been following me already for a little while you you notice that I've been in Chiang Mai for quite some time now actually this is my fifth week and I do get itchy feet. And last episode, I've been, uh, I've been telling you that I go to Pai, Chiang Rai and, and explore the north of Thailand. This is still the case. I am um, planning to do this this week. I said early next week, uh, but it's gonna be probably, yeah, later next week. Sometimes it's a bit scary walking through these little streets because there's always street dogs or <laughs> people that own dogs and they, yeah, if they're not chained up, they're kind of like, come for you. Uh, luckily, I didn't meet any unchained dogs yet, but yeah. <laughs> I'm a fan of dogs, I love dogs. But uh, yeah, not if they want to hurt me, you know. That was just the, just the case, like, <laughs> dog barking. Not happy, not happy dog. At the moment, we are interested, focused, on the foreigners of Chiang Mai, why oh why Chiang Mai? We're going to Tante Plaza, just around the corner over here, uh, to see if there's any uh, foreigners walking about. I didn't see anyone yet. Then again, this might have been a very touristic place. A few. Yeah, <laughs> actually, I do hear some English uh, inside the garden, inside the bar. And then I don't want to intrude people uh, if the bar was open, but it's kind of like I have to go inside and then just like with the camera and they might be drinking beer as well. I'm not too sure. I didn't see anything, but I'm just saying like I don't want to. Uh, yeah, I don't want to be that guy that's coming in with the camera and, you know, being unwanted there. So we're going to uh, the plaza. I do have the feeling that it's not going to work out over here and uh, that we're going to have to uh, go back to the old city center but I'm not 100% sure yet it looks closed but I think they're open so we're gonna have to look inside uh-huh oh, that's a that's a pleasant surprise we're open but at the same time a lot of things are shut there's no one here to interview for us. So what we're going to do, we're going to go back outside. Uh, we make a left, another left, and we're going to walk all the way back to the uh, old city wall. Somebody cab. Hello, madam. Hi. How are you? Somebody cab. So I've got a question, really. I make a video about why or why Chiang Mai. Normally, I've been talking to a lot of locals, 
uh, like how they're doing, how the business is doing, can they survive for another year like this? And uh, I make a video especially really about the foreigners here in Chiang Mai. So the, the episode is called Why or Why Chiang Mai? My name is Anne, what's your name? Anne, my name is Chai and I'm making, Chai. making videos really. Yeah, and okay. so are you from the UK? Yes, I'm from the UK. I've lived in China and the US as well. And, so and I haven't lived in the UK for many years. Oh yeah, and, and, and have you lived in Chiang Mai for a while then? Two years. Oh, we okay. retired here. Are you really? Yeah. Well, um, congratulations. You look still like, we uh, like very, Chiang Mai very, very fit. Much. <laughs> oh, right. Nice. Oh, yeah. Well, I like Chiang Mai as well, but what, do you, you don't like the coast then that much? or? Do you, yeah, do you miss the coast? Yes, <laughs> um, but when things pre-COVID, yeah. things here were very lively. There's a lot of stuff going on for Thai people, a yeah. lot of activities, yeah. a lot of sports, mm -hmm. a, a lot of, there's um, a university, Kayak University, that runs a lot of courses. Yeah. At the moment it's on yeah. Zoom, but uh, oh, it's yeah. opposite McCormick Hospital. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Are you planning to go back to the UK any soon or? Well, um, yes, we're desperate to see our kids. Oh, you have kids living in, in the UK? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So um, that's been really tough because we've been here now yeah. um, for, for two years. 18, well, oh, yeah. 18 months without going back. So yeah. Oh, yeah. Kids. So is it possible to go back, let's say, in an emergency case? Yeah, it's, it's tough though because of the various restrictions yeah. and the quarantines. Yeah. At the moment, for, for the UK, yeah. Thailand is red, yeah. so um, there's compulsory quarantine. Right. So I'm just like freestyling here and I, I've just come up with a question now. I'm thinking, because someone from the UK I spoke to um, not too long ago, he was saying like, I'm happy here in Chiang Mai, but th there's no insurance. Like I'm, um, if I go to hospital, I have to get my credit card. So, is that are you not insured about this? I'm sorry that maybe that's not my business though. But um, like, how how does that work? Are you well have in to the UK? Um, there's National Health Service, which yeah. is free. Yeah. At the point of service, so yeah, 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 yeah. If yeah. you live in the UK, yeah. it's free. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, here we have to pay for it, but it's very reasonable price. Oh, uh, okay. I oh, see. So you have an expat insurance or something like. Something so like that. you can yeah, uh, you can get that. Yeah. Uh, okay. Nice. Well, thank you for your time, Em. And uh, you. yeah, so so why are you watching my in one sentence? I would say. Well, it's really lively. The people are lovely. Yeah. We feel very welcome here. Yeah. Um, yeah. Let's okay. stay positive. Yeah. Okay. You know, <laughs> now is a hard time. For yeah, everybody. it is a hard for 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 a lot of people actually. So let's let's hope everything opens up again. Yeah. Thank you again. Fingers thank you. You're crossed. very kind. Thank you. Cheers. Bye bye. Nice, Em, what a lovely lady uh, from the UK, retired, just for the balance. I would like to do an, an episode with only, only ladies, to be honest, just to see what they are doing here. Every time I'm walking past a new, I'm walking into a new street and I'm seeing these. And I'm seeing these shops being closed after being closed after being closed. I can't get used to it, guys. I can't get used to it. And how lovely Anne was, uh, how positive she is. She does see there's a lot of problems here right now. My name is Chai. Uh -huh. what, what's your name? I'm Alicia. Alicia? Yeah, Where are you nice from, Alicia? Chai. I'm from the United States. United States, all right. Yeah. Where what? are you from? Netherlands. Oh, very yeah. nice. That's a long way. It is. Well, I don't know which one is further, to be honest. It depends yeah, where you live in. Uh, where, where you from? Uh, Nevada. Oh, yeah, right. so cool. I guess closer. So. Yeah, yeah. How long have you been here? <laughs> um, I've been here for about um, two weeks from quarantine and then another week just here in Chiang Mai. All right. Yeah. Are you on holiday? <laughs> Um, no, not holiday. I'm okay. taking a semester off to do an internship oh, here. All right. yeah. So how long are you planning to stay here? Um, I'll be here till mid-October. Oh, nice. So, yeah, I guess a month and a half. Oh, so you're yeah. kind of like <laughs> new and just like uh, you're only here for a short period. Yes. Why or why Chiang Mai? That's the question. Why Chiang Mai? I was going to do a study abroad here. Yeah. So I had um, tickets to here and everything and then uh, my university called it off. So. Oh, because of COVID. <laughs> oh, okay, so now you're here just on your own kind I of... Yes. <laughs> Amazing. Well, nice to meet you. Hey, I nice hold to you meet up. you. All right. <laughs> Good luck Take care. Bye -bye. I like your backpack. Thank you. <laughs>
Oh, uh, <laughs> champ. What's happening? You look pretty cool. <laughs> Where are you from? Australia. I'm from the Netherlands. My name is Chai. I'm making actually a video. I'm making a video about uh, expats really being in Chiang Mai. So I ask everyone the question, why or why Chiang Mai? Like, what, what are you doing here? I mean, in these times as well, like it's, uh, it's not the... Uh, better here than Australia, man. Yeah, you reckon? Yeah, I think so. Are you are you not stuck here? Like, no. Ah. Oh yeah, now a bit, but I wasn't. In it. Yeah, yeah. What's your name? You saying? Matt. Matt. Ah, nice to meet you, man. So I, I I heard another Australian saying uh, the other day that they, he's kind of stuck because he's put himself on the list because there's like a cap of like a thousand people. Or, or you don't even know. Uh, how long have you lived here? Uh, I don't know, for like four or five years. Really? Yeah. Oh, sweet. Did you live anywhere else in Thailand? I've been in Phuket just for like a month at a time. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like holiday kind of thing. Kind of work. Oh, yeah. What are you doing like? I you work, work um, with an elephant sanctuary. An elephant sanctuary? I volunteer with like a foundation that works with the elephant sanctuary. So yeah, place. how cool is that, man? So, is that voluntarily or is it... Oh, God. Man, nice one, man. Good on you. So, I've been to a few sanctuaries, but then still the, the elephants are chained up or is that... It looks a bit sad to me, a little bit. To know that. There's like a right and a wrong way to use chains. In yeah. Canada. Like, so some of them are going to be ethical, some of them aren't if they're chained up. Ah. There's international standards that you're supposed to be able to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you, uh, do you have a, a message to share, like, to the world? Like, something wise to say or something? Uh, not really, to be honest. No? no okay, no. fair enough. Yeah. All right. So, why you're watching my is. Watching my. Yeah. Like, yeah. If, if there's a beach, it'd be perfect. But yeah, do you miss the beach? Yeah, actually. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. like, that's why you go back to. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, mate. Oh, hopefully. Uh, well, it, I think domestic travel is possible again now. But it's still like a pain, no? You're going to have to. It's a bit of a pain, yeah. 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 If you hit a red zone, you get a quarantine for two weeks. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, thanks for your time, brother. No nice to meet you. All right, take care. Howdy, Cap. How are you, sir? Can I ask you a question? Can I ask you a question? So, are you from here? No. I was born in Thailand. You're born in Thailand? Are you from Chiang Mai though? You are from Chiang Mai? 50, 50, Chiang Mai. Ah, because... Born in Thailand, but I'm born in India. Born in India. So you want to go back to India sometimes and come back? Yes, and, yes, yes. But it's not possible now, no? Yes. I think. Ah. So why or why Chiang Mai? What, you get the answer already because it's the best. Yes. What's your name? Kamon. Kamon. Yeah. Nice to meet you, Kamon. Eh? In. 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 In and Kamon. Oh. Nice to meet you. You want to say something in, in particular? Yeah, man. Welcome to Chiang Mai. This is the best in the world. Yeah. This is all your home. People, very nice. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Kap Thank you so much. Kamon is actually from Chiang Mai, so yeah, he kind of doesn't fit in this uh, this episode, but I still wanted to put him in here. Because, uh, yeah, I mean, I want to talk to everyone, every layer of society. Uh, although we are focused on the expats and the uh, people that are not from Chiang Mai right now. But, uh, yeah, he was a nice enough gentleman. We are almost back at Tape Gate, the east gate of the old city center. How are you? What's happening? I'm just walking around. Just walking around. So, I'm making a video about uh, why or why Chiang Mai. I'm, I'm interviewing people that are... Uh, all right, no worries. This is actually the first person that's saying no. And that's a good thing, I think. I mean, everyone is pretty open uh, to, uh, yeah, to have a little chat. I mean, not everyone, and that's fair enough. So we're gonna crack on. Hi. How are you, you okay? Where are you going? Where are we going? We're going to the ghost castle. Yeah. Ghost castle? Yes. Yeah. Is it open? Yeah. Like for spooky stories, you mean? It's like game room. <laughs> um, so, um, can, you get, can you go really quickly, like, why or why Chiang Mai? Uh, we're uh, both teachers. Teachers, here. English. Yeah. Where yeah. are you from? Uh, I'm from Colombia. Colombia? Yeah. Li lively, lovely country. <laughs> USA. USA. New USA. Oh, yeah. right. New, where? New, New, New Orleans. Orleans. Oh, yeah. nice. I'm from the Netherlands. My name is Chai. What's your name? Right. Amber. Amber and? Danik. Danik. We are standing literally in the middle of a crossroads <laughs> in front of Tapai Gate, so it's quite funny. Right. Okay. I'll let you go because right, we nice might get an accident here, but nice to meet you. Enjoy. In the next episode, we're going to take you to a lake and we're going to a local market 
to eat some special food, something that we're not used to eat. And then after that, we're slowly but surely moving. I really like it here in Chiang Mai, so I'm kind of extending my stay a little bit longer than expected. Eventually, we're gonna explore the north of Thailand, probably in a week or so, we're gonna head off, we're gonna go to Pai, Chiang Mai, we're gonna go to the Burmese border. I would love to say to you, see you later, champs. <laughs> but I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna say bye for now and stay champ.